there's a question and that is who's back yup that is asked by the developer himself they are indeed declaring their return coming to business if you had ever used cyanogen mod before then you would be aware of a very popular theme named carbon ui guess what its developers made a rom on that for the redmi note 3 well it was pretty dope as a theme but does it retain that tag in this rom as well well i just want to say that sometimes implementations might just go wrong or sometimes they might just not be useful it's better that we get right into the video let's get started Hey guys so back with another Redmi Note 3 video and today if you are wondering that how to go about it i have been missing that step in my last few videos so today i'm going to be telling you detail by detail so if you want to install this rom you got to need two things primarily one is of course root that you need to have a rooted device and the second is twip recovery so if you have these two on your devices then you should keep watching this video or you can feel free to watch it if you want or don't watch it if you want okay so after you have ensured those two things that you have it on your device power of your device on whatever rom you are running press the volume up button and the power button together So this is going to boot your device into TWIP recovery and as you might be knowing that the ROM the OpenG apps for this procedure will be given in the description box below so do not forget to check it out because you need to download it before you can install it right So once you are into TWIP recovery as you can see I am in TWIP recovery or team win recovery go to wipe hit advanced wipe select dalvik system data and cache and swipe to wipe and you know i'm not going to do that right because i already have it installed then you need to hit install and find wherever you have stored your downloaded rom so as you can see carbon cr 5.1 mod weekly uh, you got to select that so let's select this and go to add more zip and as you can see open gf 7.1 pico and do ensure that you have the latest version of open g apps otherwise the setup is just going to crash because this is 7.2 my friend So let's select that and then swipe to confirm flash. So once you are done doing that, let's just go back and hit reboot and hit system. So that's pretty much that you need to do to install the ROM on your device. And now let us quickly have a look at what all this ROM offers. So when you are going to install this ROM on your device, it's going to have a wallpaper saying that who's back and my immediate reply to that wallpaper will be that is back and yeah carbon rom is perhaps or carbon theme i must add over here was perhaps one of the most successful themes that was built from cyanogen os so let's see that if this rom builds on that or not so let's quickly head over to settings and okay let's move over to settings and let's just see that what the android security patch update is and what version of android this is So as you can see carbon rom version 5.1 mod weekly and it's running on android 7.1.2 that's the latest with the android security patch level of may 5th and that's the latest version my friend so not to worry about that it gives you the latest os and let's quickly move over and see what all customization options we are here because that's why we are installing rom right so let's see carbon fibers uh, we have system customizations jump to status bar uh, show 4g instead of lte which i don't have currently we have quick setting customizations options have been given over here as you can see the regular set of things Uh, I have actually customized my quick settings as you can see and it I think that it looks pretty dope. Let's quickly go back and let's see traffic indicators, clock and stuff and guys, it's hot over here and I'm sweating guys. So let's go to buttons and advanced button options that is it gives you the software buttons. Uh so that's about it. Let's quickly go back and let's see enable pixel home button animation. We have lights. Uh no developer gives a separate option like lights over here but they have given because basically you can control the notification led over here and that's about it so next up we have lock screen customizations uh, the basic drill in every linear joys based rom so lock screen dot scramble pin and lock screen battery info <sighs> this is soulless we have gesture support and yeah 
double step the status bar to sleep, double tag the lock screen to sleep or even press the power button for camera. Implementation is quite good but customization level is quite low. So we have miscellaneous tweaks, uh, toast icon scrolling cache does it not even have a ticker. Uh, let's see privacy settings and hide apps from recents, carbon ROM statistics, I don't know how many of you guys will be leading that. And we have display tweaks and number of columns, uh, let's see, okay it's landscape mode, does not even matter right. Remove tile summaries, tile summary lines or even what all options, blur status bar background, that's that you get, I don't like it. So blur expanded status bar, not essential. So the, the customization options that have been given uh, named as carbon fibers in this ROM are really really not that useful guys because those are customizations which you will not need in your daily life so substratum comes built in so that's pretty decent we have display notifications battery level ambient display and that's all that's pretty much it and if you install this rom you are not even gonna get the pixel experience zip and that is the pixel launcher is not gonna come in pre-installed they're just gonna give you the chromium browser and that's what they're gonna give so you need to flash the pixel experience if you want to get the pixel launcher so now let's come over to the pros and cons section of this rom so speaking of some of the pros first up it is stable as is claimed by the developer it is good for daily usage no heating issues and yeah Heavy games like GTA San Andreas, Implosion, WWE, Immortals and you name it do run without any kind of choppiness, you will find no lags over there. Camera bug has been solved so video recording works pretty fine, you can take good pictures with the snap camera that comes default. VoLTE also works pretty fine so not to worry about Geo4G users. But these are common stuff right, maybe some other ROM would also give you the same set of pros that I just told you. Can't really help it guys, but we have to come to the cons. The very first con that you will notice is the depreciated customizations as compared to the other ROMs. Sometimes animations are choppy and by animations I mean app opening animations and scrolling animations are choppy and I will not expect this from a ROM because other ROMs are much more smoother. And the overall experience if you are a user and you are using this ROM on your device is not pretty good guys, it's not pretty satiating, it will not satisfy that inner self of you that you are using Android 7.1.2. So if I come to the conclusion, this is a minimalistic ROM that the developer has tried to build with a little bit extra minimalism. So yeah, that's pretty much it from today guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope Carbon ROM was helpful to you. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do, right? You know how the drill goes. Give this video a huge thumbs up and drop a like before you leave and do not, do not forget to subscribe to my channel, press that red subscribe button that really helps me and helps the channel and inspires me to do more hard work. If you want more such awesome ROM videos on the Redmi Note 3, the Android one, yeah, the next video is gonna be on the Android one hopefully, the Euphoria, Mi 5, Loico Lo 2 and a lot of other devices maybe the moto g5 plus or the redmi note 4 maybe press that subscribe button stay subscribed to my channel because those content are coming up in the near weeks and next time stay a freak stay a geek peace